Hey guys, Tom at Snake River Base. I want to talk a little bit about wind, and I want to talk about wind as it affects canopy flight, uh, and maybe some other aspects of slider down base jumping. But I want to talk about wind because I think it is very misunderstood in a lot of the skydiving world, and I see people who are teaching base jumping who really don't understand this at all. So I want to make sure that we make a video where we can talk about what wind does and how it affects objects that are flying. The first thing I want to do though is I want to talk about the difference between airspeed and ground speed. Because knowing the difference between airspeed and ground speed is really critical to understanding how wind is going to affect an object in flight. So the first thing that I want to explain is that speed does not apply to just one thing. A lot of people are used to thinking of speed as a single measurement applying to one thing. I am going this fast and therefore my speed is. That's not true. It just doesn't work that way. Speed is a measurement that tells us how fast two things either move together or move apart. There has to be two things. One thing by itself cannot have speed. Here's why. All speed is relative to some other object in the world. For example, if we're driving in a car and I look at John in the seat next to me, my speed relative to John is zero. My John speed, if you will, is zero. But if I look out the window and I see a street sign on the side of the road, well, what's my speed relative to the street sign? It's different from my speed relative to the passenger in the car, right? If the car is moving 60 miles an hour, I might have a John speed relative to the guy John in the seat next to me of zero, oh, but a sign speed relative to that street sign of 60 miles per hour. Two very different speeds. If I'm passing another car, the other car is going 40 miles an hour, now I've got three kinds of speed. I've got the speed relative to the passenger, that's still zero, the speed relative to the sign on the side of the road, that's 60, and the speed relative to the other car. I'm overtaking it by 20 <coughs> miles per hour, so my other car speed is 20 miles per hour. Three different kinds of speed, all related to me, all in the same situation. It's important that we understand that speed has to be measured relative to something else. Ground speed and airspeed are just two cases of speed. Ground speed is how fast you're moving relative to a fixed point on the ground below you. Any one fixed point, and usually we talk about all of them together because all the fixed points on the ground, absent some seismic activity, are connected to each other. Okay? Air speed is a fixed point in the air out in front of you. This is a little harder to visualize. A good way to think of it is if you pick one air molecule and you measure your speed relative to that air molecule, it'll give you a good idea. If you have trouble picturing that, picture a balloon, just a, a helium balloon floating out in the air in front of you. That balloon is going to move wherever the air goes, so it can represent a fixed point in the air. So when we think of ground speed and airspeed, I want you to think of airspeed as how fast you would move towards that helium balloon that's just floating in the air out in front of you. For ground speed, we can use a similar trick. We'll say your friend has just landed in the landing area below you. He's looking up at you, you're looking down at him, but he's not moving. He's just standing still, gathering up his canopy. So that means how fast I move towards or away from the balloon, that's my airspeed. How fast I move towards or away from my friend on the ground, that's my ground speed. We're going to use those as our indicators. 